Uh, this sounds really concerning. What are you telling your parents of your patients right now about this hepatitis outbreak in Toronto? Good morning. I am telling people not to panic, essentially. So we have seen over 200 cases of this severe acute hepatitis around the world. That being said, there are millions and millions of children around the world. So while 200 cases is concerning and definitely something to look into and be alert to, it isn't something we need to be panic about at this point. So why do medical experts believe, or, or what do medical experts believe is behind the cause of this? Unfortunately, we don't yet know. We know that the common causes of viral hepatitis being hepatitis A, B, C, D, E are not uh, the culprit here. Some kids have tested positive for COVID-19. Some children have tested positive for a common, not typically causing hepatitis virus called adenovirus that usually causes just common cold symptoms. And other kids have had previous COVID infection, but not current COVID infection. So we're not quite sure if it's a combination of things, whether it's a new version of an adenovirus, whether perhaps it's like a two hit hypothesis where previous COVID infection, now new adenovirus infection perhaps is triggering it. We don't yet know. We should talk about what acute hepatitis is and the impact that it has on a body, particularly a child. Sure, so hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. It causes most typically symptoms like a virus, a stomach flu. So vomiting, diarrhea, belly pain, but in particular, different from typical stomach flu kind of symptoms, kids will develop jaundice. So that's a yellow discoloration of the skin and a yellow discoloration of the white of the eyes. Is there any way to protect yourself against getting hepatitis? We don't yet know what the trigger is. So it's hard to prevent an illness that we don't know what the cause is. And how common generally is it, doctor? We see viral hepatitis from time to time, but not usually 200 cases in a short period of time around the world. And in particular, it's important to note that this version of hepatitis is causing liver failure in some children. So in the state, about 15% of these children have required liver transplantation. Some children have died, and that is not typical for typical viral hepatitis, which is usually a benign illness that goes away by itself with just supportive management. Dr. Dina Kulik, thank you so much, doctor. Glad you could be with us today. You're welcome.